my thing though, right? So, like people will bring up like the past and say, yo, and he was on camera fucking a, 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 a 13 year old girl, right? And peeing on her like that. He got acquitted up that. So like, we really can't hold so let's, that, let's, let's, that against let's him. Let's not act like- You can't hold it against him if he got acquitted of it, right? So you don't think it was him? No. What is going on, man? Jeremiah Black Development Network. I hope everybody's having a great day. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you would like, man, you could join our Patreon community. We are building a community over there, Patreon. And we uh, it will be the new home of our podcast, Mansplaining Podcast. Episode 17 is available on that. Um, and I didn't say it on there uh, as well. It's also available in Apple, Google, and uh, Spotify as well, and Anchor as well. So they're, all these um, will be in the description below. But let's get into the content. R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison Wednesday following his conviction last year on federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges stemming from his efforts to use his fame to attract victims he sexually abused. With the R. Kelly thing, right, now, you know, you got to put it in, like, context kind of, right? So first off, he's a sicko. Dad, we know he he's sick. Now, when I read the charges, after reading the charges, I'll probably say 30 years for that nigga, you know, is somewhat fair, right? Now, however, he... Uh, I'm waiting I'm waiting for the... No, 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 no. It's fair. Now, when we look at the charges, like, for example, like with the Aaliyah thing, right? They listed her as a Jane Doe, but they said um, that he was trying to marry her, right? Because she was supposedly pregnant with his baby. She was 15. Yeah, right? And He was 29 at the time. Yeah, right? And he got a, a racketeering charge because uh, he instructed somebody to, like, fake her identification. Now... That's a racketeering charge for faking the 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 identification. And so you don't find it no, wrong I, for I, a 29 year old man to try to go all out to try to fake a marriage with a 15 year old girl. I, I, no, listen, right? I definitely do, and, and and like he's wrong. But like, here's where like like the context comes. Right? The context comes in with he got charged and convicted of that racketeering charge. He didn't get charged and convicted with fucking. Well, all right, so I wanted to give you guys context into what they were talking about um, and why the, the, the video is made, right? Um, long story short, they were talking about the R. Kelly case um, and whether or not they believe that, you know, he did it. But it was mostly about the news. It was mostly their news segment on No Jumper for people who've never heard of No Jumper. Um, and so I'm going to kind of get into the actual context and what he's talking about. The racketeering charge was stemmed from um, R. Kelly asking a gentleman to um, to fake um, Aaliyah's identification to make it seem like she was older than what she actually was in order to marry this young lady. Now, if that's the case, brother, you got to be thinking that this dude is touching this young lady. Uh, there's no reason why he would be in this space with her and not try and trying to to up the age to seem like. Even this is weird. He was 29 at the time. Um, so, you know, there's some things that you can use context clues on. Not everything you're going to just be able to prove in the court of law. Things are lost. Um, you could talk about the statute of limitations. Um, you know, all these other things when it comes to a court case. Tripping, he had a whole video, bro, of peeing on an underage fucking girl. That's false. Pe- That's not false, nigga. He, this is true. He got and acquitted. They have, they have many videos. He got acquitted of that, bro. Though. My thing, though, right? So, like people will bring up like the past and say, "Yo," and he was on camera fucking a a a, a, a thirteen year old girl, right? And peeing on her like that. He got acquitted of that. So, like, we really can't hold so that let's, 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 that against let's him. Not act- Okay, so um, an- another thing that, that Flacco just needs to also understand, just because you are acquitted of something uh, doesn't mean that you did it. I mean, it doesn't mean that you did it, but it also means that you didn't do it. Uh, I think he also had possession of this tape, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so <laughs> he, had, he had possessions of these tapes as well. But also, I'm going to show you guys as well, in 2008... Uh, the reason why they acquitted him was because the the young lady did not want to testify. She would not. She refused to testify. Um, in this case coming up, she will be testifying. So she will be saying whether or not that was him in the tape. You get what I'm saying? So I I need y'all to understand something, big dog. You hopping on no jumper. You need to make sure that you you're performing in front of a lot of people, bruh. 
Um, even if you want to stand behind and defend and troll or whatever you're doing up there, I don't know. But whatever the case may be, if that's what you want to do, bro, that's what you want to do. But you need to make sure that you have the entire context of of the R. Kelly case, my nigga. Because at the end of the day, you you guys look like, and that's the problem too with like DJ Academics and all these other dudes that's on YouTube defending the pedophilia that um, R. Kelly was um, participating in, the sex ring that R. You're defending it as if there are not laws set in place to make sure that this stuff it, it's a crime. <laughs> it's a, it is a crime. So, you know, maybe he was not um, personally um, put in jail for that. He was acquitted of it. But we also got to say, OK, why was he acquitted? Was he acquitted because they couldn't um, provide substantial evidence or because like the 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 person didn't show up why are we doing this you get what i'm saying so you got to make sure that you get know the full context before you you blurt out that bullshit well the 15 year old so because at the time a lot of people they didn't they didn't blink an eye to it and then two he was so mega fucking famous that's the problem people probably been saying hey r kelly did this to me and they're like no that nigga is top of the top we don't want to fucking hear that shit and so that, let's let's let's, that let's some, not act like yes Fame, money, and good lawyers can't get you out of sticky situations. You know what I'm saying? If that was any other person at the time and they did that same exact thing, they would be under the fucking jail to this day, Flacco. Now, what AD is trying to actually stress to this brother is let's look at the Bill Cosby case. Now, the reason, only reason why Bill Cosby is out of jail, if you actually look at the entirety of the case, is because they felt as though he was coerced. Um, and again, our laws, if you have a great lawyer, we do have checks and balances. And so you can't coerce someone into a confession. No, that nigga said what he said, but because the, the police or they felt as though he was coerced into saying that he did these things, um, that can't, that, can, that is admissible in court. You cannot be coerced. You cannot be told to say certain things or, um, anything of that nature in order for you to, um stand trial or anything like that all in all man hey brother if if no jumper's gonna keep them no jumper's gonna keep them it is what it is but we got to be honest with ourselves here big dog a lot of the a lot of the stuff that comes out of this man's mouth i don't know if he's trolling i don't know if he's telling the truth i don't know what he's doing he's trying to gain some type of uh Maybe that's what they signed him up for. Maybe they just signed him up to be on camera and to be com not combative. That's not the word. He wasn't combative. To be, uh, you know, the, the opposite. Um, maybe that's what they signed him up for. But I'm going to be honest with you, big dog. This was an extreme, and you clearly didn't look into the case like you thought you did when you were reading those charges, you know. So, hey, man, like, subscribe, comment, peace.